Welcome, tech professionals and network enthusiasts. We are going to navigate through the command line interface of a Cisco IOS XE on a Catalyst 8000V router. Our task at hand is configuring a loopback interface, an essential part of networking practices for testing and management purposes. Let's start. First, we see the user has successfully logged into the device with the appropriate credentials. Prompted with the terminal, the user enters conf t, short for configure terminal. This command shifts us from the general command mode to global configuration mode, signifying our intention to make changes to the device's configuration. Next, the prompt changes to cat8000v config shap, which confirms we're in global configuration mode. Here, our user types int loopback100. This short form stands for interface loopback100. By entering this command, the user creates a new logical interface, loopback100. This interface is not a physical port, but a virtual one, usually used for diagnostic tests or to assign the device an IP address that is always reachable as long as the device is functioning. The prompt then updates to cat8000v config if tap, which means we're in interface configuration mode, specifically configuring the newly created loopback 100. The user decides to provide a description for the interface by typing description, followed by what appears to be an attempt to write validated video. This description is a means to document the interface purpose internally, which is helpful for future reference when managing the device. After writing the description, it seems the user is going to assign an IP address to loopback100 by starting with the command IP address. This is followed by entering a standard IPv4 address format, 192.168.100.1. This assigns a static IP address to the loopback interface, making the interface addressable within a network. The IP address is followed by a subnet mask, 255.255.25.0. The mask specifies the network portion of the address and determines the size of the network. And there you have it. A loopback interface has been successfully created, described, and assigned an IP address. These steps are crucial in network setup and management, allowing reachable IP addresses for testing and routing internally within a network. Remember, thoroughness and clarity in command line interface work ensure a stable and well-documented network environment. Until next time, keep those networks reliable and secure.